Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing my uh, everyday makeup tutorial. This is what I do every day and uh, I wanna be just showing you what kind of products I'm using to get this dewy, glowy and healthy looking skin because skin is my main priority when I do my makeup. I like to look healthy and glowy and radiant and uh, I use lots of products in this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel Give this video a thumbs up, turn on the notification bell if you want to get notifications every time I upload the video and if you want to see how I got this look right here, just keep on watching. So first I just want to put my hair back a little. First thing in the morning when I wake up, um, I wash my face of course, I moisturize my face, do my morning skincare. At the end of it, I just use this um, uh, Joseph Moran uh, Argan Daily Moisturizer SPF 47. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna apply this. So this is my bare skin. This is how my skin looks. Um, my skin is pretty dry, just so you know. And um, I have a little bit of redness here, but uh, like my skin is pretty good um, in a way that I never get uh, pimples or anything like that. I use SPF every day, every morning. I don't like to skip it. And I always take it down to my neck as well because yeah, we need to protect our necks as well. I'm gonna use uh, this Makeup Morning Dew uh, Maple Water. This is um, this is a really good brand. I've used uh, their essence from this uh, from this brand makeup, and I loved it. It's one of my favorites. Unfortunately, I cannot find it on Sephora anymore. I got that one on Sephora, but and this one as well. But I I can't find them anymore. I don't know what happened. Maybe they discontinued it. I have no idea. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's a really good brand. Um, and let's just spray a little. Mm, this feels so good and I do this before my makeup because I want to lock the moisture in my skin before I go with the foundation and all the steps I'm going to be doing and showing you. The next product is uh, my primer. I use uh, lots of different primers. I have a million primers here and I do use them every day. Uh, I just rotate in between. This is my Guerlain uh, uh, primer and this one is uh, pretty expensive so I try to save this for like special occasions um, so that's why I don't really use this one on everyday basis in every morning um, but yeah I would love to I wish this was a little cheaper I would use it every day for sure it's the best honestly then I have this ordinary silicone primer um, I know silicones are not the best for your face but I don't know what it is this makes my skin feel really plumped and hydrated I have another primer here. Uh, this is from First Aid Beauty, uh, Coconut Skin Smoothing Priming Moisturizer. This is really good for moisturizing your skin. I'm not sure what it does for your makeup, if it makes it last longer or anything like that, uh, but it moisturizes my face a lot. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply this because again, I'm trying to get my skin as moisturized as possible. And mm, it smells good, it smells like coconuts. I'm gonna use this primer all over my face. Okay, after this, I have another primer. I know it might look crazy, but I swear, I do this, all this, in like 10 minutes every morning, and I don't take longer than 10 minutes. Um, now that I'm talking about every product, it might take me a little longer, and I'm sure it's gonna take me way longer, but yeah, in the morning, it just takes me 10 minutes, and that's it. Uh, yeah, let me show you this one. Uh, this is another primer from Dr. Brandt, um, and it's called Pores No More. It says minimizes the look of pores, absorbs oil, and mattifies shine. Well, as I already said, I don't want my face to be matte at all. But in my T-zone here, I love using this product. I'm just using this to like fill my pores around my nose a little here and my forehead here. I don't have large pores or anything like that, but I still love using this. Um, it makes a big difference um, with how my foundation looks with this primer and without the primer. So I've been loving this. I've been using this after I got this and I've had this for a long, long time. So I'm just gonna be using a tiny little bit. As you can see, it's like tiny little bit all over my nose. It feels really soft and soothing. It's, it's a really good feeling. On my forehead a little, right here in the middle. 
I'm looking down because I have like a million mirrors in front of me. And my chin a little. Now when I don't use my foundation, I use this guy here. It gives your skin this even glowy look. This one is in medium glow. Um, and it's a little darker than the other one. I have two here. This one is in light glow. This is more peachy color and this is more like a bronzy. And I love using bronzy products summertime. Um, I'm not soft tan now, so I'm not going to be using this because I'm so... I'm pale right now and uh, yeah I would use this if I w didn't want to use my foundation for sure today I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous foundation it has SPF 20 in it I know I applied my SPF already but I love applying reapplying SPF and uh, yeah if any products have SPF in it I I would love to use it because it's morning and uh, um, gonna be out all day in the sun so yeah I love using a lot of SPF um, and this foundation is one of my favorites in color uh, sand beige it's warm W5 yeah, I'm not gonna be using too much foundation just a little dot here here on my cheeks this is really light foundation like I don't even feel when I wear this foundation on my skin, I don't feel like I'm wearing anything at all. So I'm gonna be using my Sigma Round Kabuki F82 brush today. I like to do this like with my brushes, warm up bristles a little bit before I go in to blend my foundation in. This is a really small Kabuki brush, but I like small Kabuki brushes because um, it might take a little longer to apply your foundation, but it does a really really good job of blending your foundation in so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it in see this is such a light coverage foundation which is like my favorite I sometimes apply foundation only at the like parts of my face where I need it when I have a little bit of discoloration or redness or anything like that which is mostly on my cheeks and my chin sometimes but overall, my skin is pretty good. I never get pimples and because it's so dry, what kind of pimples can I ever get? As you can see, I can see my redness through here a little, which I like. I like to see my skin through the foundation. Blend, 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 blend. The key of the like good, healthy looking skin and dewy skin is um, well blended foundation. If you don't blend your foundation well enough, it's not gonna look good. It's not gonna look like it's your skin. So I spend most of my time in the morning blending my foundation. And yeah, I go all over my eyelids as well because I have really veiny eyelids, like blue veins, and I like to cover that up. So on everyday basis, I don't use concealer. I do have a little darkness here, but I don't know what it is. I just hate feeling product under my eyes. Sometimes I put a little bit in here. You know what, let me do it. Let me show you mine as well. Um, I don't do this every day, but I'm gonna do this just for this video here. So this is my NARS uh, concealer. This is tiny little bottle. Again, because I don't use concealer, I don't really need to have like a full size bottle. So I got this one uh, from NARS in uh, medium custard. The name of the color is custard. And yeah, it's pretty good color for me. It's not too light, it's not too dark. It's just perfect, I think. Um, whenever I decide to do this, I just put a little dot here, right here. Because this is where I get my most, like most of my darkness in this corner. And right here, another one. That's it. I don't use more than that, like one little dot on both sides. Uh, this is my Tarte brush from, um, it doesn't say name on it, just from Tarte, dual ended brush like this. And this end here is pretty, it's really soft. Uh, so I like to use this uh, for my concealer right here. It just fits really nicely in my, in my eye here, right here. I'm gonna take it out a little bit, like right under my eye. That's it. Now this side. It does make a big difference. Concealer makes huge difference in your makeup. And I have super dry under eyes as well. That could be a reason why I don't like make, um, wearing too much concealer because concealer always like um, makes my under eyes look drier than it is. Maybe I'm not using the right concealer. I don't know. I've used, I've tried lots of different ones, but. 
never really liked any. Yeah, so if I ever use concealer, this is what I do. This is exactly what I do. So once my foundation is done, I love how glowy this foundation is. As you can see, you can still see my skin. It's pretty sheer and light. I love this foundation. One of my favorite foundations from L'Oreal. It is kind of pricey. It's like $22 Canadian. Um, it's a drugstore foundation, but it's pretty pricey for a drugstore, I think. But it's really, 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 really good. So it is worth it. Summertime, I love using cream products. I like cream bronzers, cream, cream blushes, cream highlighters, and it gives you so much more dewiness and healthier looking skin. Um, and when I do that, uh, after my foundation, I'll jump right into my bronzer. This is my um, Chanel Solel bronzer in uh, universal I don't know how bronzer can be universal color really because uh, I don't think you can use this color for every skin tones I, I don't really don't think so but this color is perfect for my skin tone uh, this bronzer has been my favorite last uh, year or two already this is my second tab this lasts forever and first one I threw out there was some product still in when I threw it out but uh, I saw it because it didn't smell right anymore. So yeah, I just got rid of it. And I love using um, cream bronzers with a stippling brush. If I can find it right now, where is it? Okay, this is a stippling brush right here. This came in my Ipsy bag, I actually. So I don't know. I've never seen this brand sold anywhere. So I don't really know where it come from. I'm just gonna go through like this in it. And I like to build it up really, really slowly. It is really natural looking bronzing, bronzer and yeah, I love it. I just apply it on my cheekbones like this. I'm gonna be applying my contouring powder later on top. But right now, before setting my face, I wanna use my cream blush because I don't like applying creams over powders. I don't think that's actually right way to do it because it won't work cream products take a little longer than powders i feel like blending them in is really 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 important so if i don't have enough time in the morning i won't be using a cream product and i'll jump right into my powders um but today i just want to show you what i like to do i like to go around my forehead like this to bronze it up a little, to give it a shape, because my forehead, as you can see, is huge. It takes a lot of product to cover this. There is one more thing. It's really funny because I don't all ever buy palettes, like, you know, those mini palettes you put it in your purse. I never do that. And um, this is uh, uh, from Tarte. It's Tartiest Pro Glow 2 Go Palette. And it looks like this. It's tiny little, tiny little palette. And I didn't buy this. And it smells like chocolates. My friend Samantha got this for me and uh, oh, it smells so good. And one day I just used it, uh, this color here, this, uh, what's it, what is it called? Chisel? Uh, so this is the color for contouring and I used this one first and I, I just loved it. I was like, oh my God, this is so good. And then I used this um, highlighter here, which is called Burst. Oh my God, this is like liquid gold on your face it's beautiful and then there's a set one here called glam uh it's more pinky undertone so it's better on lighter skin tones i like to put a little bit on top of my cheeks here like in the middle a little pop of this color and it looks really pretty i'm just i just want to say that this tart uh pro glow to go palette has been my favorite palette to use every morning it's so easy you just put in your purse and it goes with you everywhere and I just I'm really 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 surprised actually I'm just gonna set my whole face right now because I'm not using any more cream products on my face so I just want to set this uh, because I have a dry skin I don't like to use too many uh, powders on my face I don't want to make it too mad and we want to keep this all glowy and dewy so I'm just gonna be using my hourglass um, ambient lighting powder in luminous light 
those uh, hourglass powders are one of the best powders on the market, I think. Those are finishing powders, they are not setting powders, but I'm gonna be using as a setting powder, and they give you this beautiful glow to your face. It's just, I don't know how to explain it. You need to put this on your face to see and feel how it looks. This is from Real Techniques. Um, I think it's a powder brush. No, bronzing brush. This is a bronzing brush. Yeah, it's really fluffy and huge. Yeah, I'm gonna be dipping in this powder like a lot. Putting this all over my face. And I don't like to swipe powders all over my face. I like to like pat like this. And this powder does not make my skin look matte whatsoever. It sets my face nicely. And then I have another powder, which I use in my T-zone, just around my nose. Um, it's uh, from It Cosmetics, uh, Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. I love using this right in the middle, I mean my T-zone. I don't put this anywhere else on my face, just in my T-zone. Uh, I'm gonna use the same brush from Tarte. I use this side for concealer. Now I'm gonna use this for my T-zone. Just gonna dip it in really good. Looks like a banana powder. I'm just gonna tap it off the axis and I'm just gonna apply it right here. And now I'm just gonna apply my contouring powder. And I don't know which one should I use, Tarte or Hula? Let's go with Tarte now because again, it blew my mind. Um, I've talked about this brush, I think, in my one of my videos. I don't remember which one. This is from e.l.f. Uh, called Blending Brush. This brush. It's just the best for contouring because it fits in here so nicely and perfectly. Just gonna show you. So I'm gonna dip this in this color here, the dark contouring color, and go right in it. And right in my face. Ooh, put too much, I think. And do you see how it gives you this like little shadow here? Oh, my favorite. I've been using Kevin Aquan um, contouring powder most of the time. But after getting this, I stopped using it, I swear. So you're gonna just put this under your cheekbones. I don't know, my forehead here. Layering uh, powder products over cream products, I think is one of the best ways to make sure your makeup lasts longer. Uh, when I do this, my makeup will last at least 11 to 16 hours. I'm gonna go around my nose here with the same powder. I don't really contour my nose. I just like to give a little little bit of shadow and depth right uh, right here. I'm just gonna apply the same color in my crease. I do not use uh, eyeshadows on an everyday basis, so I don't have time to do it. So what I do every day, every morning, is that I'll use the same bronzer I put on my face. It will be Hoola or Tarte or anything else. Um, I'll use it right in my crease. So I'm just gonna use this Tarte brush. I'm just gonna apply the same color in my crease right here. I've been doing this like every morning. This is all I do. I don't do anything else. I'm lazy and I like to sleep in the morning. I don't like to spend too much time doing my makeup. So yeah, I sleep a lot. I think this looks okay already. And I will take this color on this flat brush right here and go under my eye as well just a little bit looks really natural and it just just ties the whole face all together just blend 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 I love to spend some time blending my eyeshadow looks more natural I will use the same highlighter and as I use on my face and put right in the middle of my eye. Just gonna use the same brush right now and use this golden highlight here in this palette. Just right in the middle so it gives the little definition. So I'm done with my eyes. That's all I do with my eyes. As you can see I have bigger eyes. I like to use, I like to tight line my um, waterline inside my eye using a black eyeliner or brown, depending what I do. I'm gonna be using black today. This is from MAC. So eyeliner is done. And what am I forgetting? Eyebrows. I don't do much with my eyebrows, but I have a little like, gap right here, as you can see. <laughs> so this needs to be filled. Um, and for that, sometimes I like to use uh, Maybelline uh, 
a total temptation uh, pencil for your eyebrows it's a good one but it's pretty waxy and I kind of feel like it's pulling my hairs out a little but I'm just still gonna use it I don't spend too much time on my eyebrows I just quickly fill in and it's done now I'm just gonna apply my blush um, I use few blushes on a like everyday basis my favorite one is from hourglass as you can see I love hourglass products especially their powders I do love their foundation as well it's one of my favorites but it's full coverage and I don't use it on everyday basis but they're their uh, powders are one of my favorite powders and they are just the best, honestly. Mm, uh, this one here is in color Ethereal Glow. So I'm going to be using my Sigma Angle Kabuki F84 brush to apply my blush on my cheeks. I'm just going to really gently pat this powder on my cheeks. It's really, really light, but I love this pink it's like a cool tone pink. It's like a cool tone baby pink color, and it's one of my favorite colors in the blush. Just trying to blend my contour in with my my blush a little better. I love everything to be all like seamless and blended in my face. I don't like to have like separated blush and bronzer and uh, contouring powder. I want it to look all like even my favorite part of makeup is highlighter i have my ambient metallic strobe lighting palette from hourglass i love hourglass powders i'm gonna say it one more time because that's how much i love them they're the best this is how this palette looks it's beautiful it has little pinky yellow and more bronzy color here i just mix them all together and that's how i apply it all over my face i know it sounds crazy you're not supposed to be applying your highlighter all over your face, but I love dewy, glowy skin. So I'm just going to mix it all together and apply all over my face with this fluffy brush from Japanesco. Japanesca, I don't know how to say it. As always, I do not know how to say words, generally. I'm just going to mix it all together like this. Tap it off and go all over my face like this glow it gives you it's just the best oh look at that i hope you can see i hope the camera picks it up I'm trying to apply this more on my like high points of my face but i still go all over because i want it i want as much highlight as i can get and i'm not done with highlighting i do this when i'm really really extra and i'm feeling like extra today and if i have time in the morning why not so now i'm gonna get my real techniques uh setting brush it's tiny little brush looks like this i don't use this for setting my face i'm gonna use this color like high ends of my cheekbones here Ooh. this this yellow golden glow is like everything i use this a lot when i'm more tan because it's pretty dark now but now i'm just going to be using a little bit here and i think highlighter is that a little bit here a little bit on my nose like like this and my cupid's bow i need to stop i can't stop once i get highlighter in my hand i just can't stop I'm almost done. Mascara and lipstick left. The lipstick, I'm gonna go with the lipstick first. This lipstick is from Charlotte Tilbury in um, color Pillow Talk. I think this is the one I'm gonna use today. I'm not sure. I look pretty pinkish today. We'll see. And, uh, then we have this uh, lipstick from Lancome. It's like a pale baby pink color. Love it. It's a cream, beautiful cream lipstick. Lastly, this is uh, from MAC in uh, color taupe and it's matte finish looks like this it's pretty dark brown i love dark browns they are one of my favorite colors to use i like browns and i like i like pinks for like every day that's all i use really i go crazy like bright pinks and bright uh, reds when i go out or something but not every day so today i'm gonna be just applying lip pencil from huda beauty uh it's called lip contour in color trophy wife i'm just gonna apply this all around my lips i don't like to overdraw my lips too much i just 
or follow contour of my lips. When I contour my lips and using a, a pencil, I fill it in almost like all the way. Let's go with this pale pink color over top of this dark pink lip liner uh, from Lancome. And let's see how it looks. Mm, I love this. I love the texture of this lipstick and the feeling it gives my lips. And I think I forgot to ha do my brow bone highlight because I always do that. Mm, I use the same color as I used um, right here in the middle. I'm just going to use this uh, little flat brush to highlight my brow bone. And I'm going to use the same palette from Tarte, uh, this lighter color here to like highlight my brow bone. It kind of lifts your um, eyebrows up and opens up your eyes. I love it. Like this. Oh my god, mascara. I forgot mascara. Let's be honest. I don't wear mascara everyday basis, but I do wear eyeliner a lot. I'll do a little wing. I feel like wings look really good on my eye shape because my eyes are kind of around and I like to elongate them just a little bit. So I'll do a little like half wing, not even half, like from here I would do a little wing. I'm not gonna do it today because that's not something I do every day, but I do it a lot. This mascara is from Pixie. I picked it up last time I went to drugstore. I bought a lot of stuff and I'm gonna be doing a haul um, later on. Uh, but uh, this is Pixie by Petra uh, mascara primer. I've never used a mascara primer. Just wanna see what it does for me. No bottle looks, this is the one. It's like a rubbery one. I don't know. I'm just going to try to use it. This feels like a mascara. And now I'm going to apply mascara on top of it. Uh, here I have my favorite mascara from Essence. $4.99. Go buy it. It's the best. I talked about this in my favorites video. And this mascara has been my favorite last six months, I think. I just... I love it. Every time I use it, it looks like I have fake lashes on. So... Why not? I don't like to apply too much mascara, so I generally apply one coat and that's it. So this is it guys. Please let me know how did you like this uh, makeup tutorial down in the comments below. Let me know if there are any similar products you use every day, if your favorite products are the similar products as mine. I would love to know that. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up, turn on the notification bell right next to subscribe button so you will be notified every time I, I upload. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye!